Hey there, everybody. Thomas with Basecamp Trading. It is Thursday, March 1st, uh, first of the month, and we're going to take a look at one of the ways of trading using value or using the value component of price using the value bars indicator. So uh, we've all heard this the term sell the rip or buy the dip, right? Well, one of the ways of timing this is by looking for a market to get extended against the trend. And value bars or value charts do a great job of helping you with identifying where these extended points are. So you can see here, once we start to get extended, once we enter this downtrend, we, we go from chopping sideways here in the S&P to trending down. We, we put in the lower highs and break to the lower lows. And then what we look for is our MQ trend has changed to red as well. So we're saying, okay, we're in a downtrend. We're looking to sell bounces here. So the way value bars work is if we jump up overvalued, if we get extended to the upside, moderately extended to the upside, it will turn the upper part of the price bar yellow. Significantly extended to the upside, we turn the upper part of the price bar red. Well, in this case, we get extended to the upside here. So we're extended to the upside in a downtrend. That gives you the opportunity to sell, sell off again, bounce back up. Once more, we get extended to the upside against the trend. It gives you another great opportunity to jump in and sell that rip and catch the rest of the move that's falling through as we speak right now at about 2.15 in the afternoon. So one way of timing entries, the whole point of this is to say that, that one way of timing entries when you're looking at the market and looking at identifying when a market has gotten extended enough for you to time your entry and go ahead and pull the trigger and jump in and initiate that trade is to use a value component. And one of my favorite ways of doing that is using the value bars and value charts indicators. So that's all I have for you for today. I will see you in the next one. And until next time, happy trading, everybody.